Benjamin Britten's sole and seminal contribution to the solo guitar repertoire is the uh, mammoth Nocturnal after John Dowland, which is uh, based on number 20 from the first book of songs, um, Come Heavy Sleep. Sleep, of course, is this Elizabethan allegory for death, and so uh, the piece, through its variations, explores this um, theme of uh, melancholy uh, through variations which represent each of them uh, a different kind of dreamlike state. It was actually in the mid-1950s that Julian Bream uh, initially asked uh, Benjamin Britten to write a piece for the solo guitar. Um, Britten, of course, wrote the songs from the Chinese, which uh, was his first foray into uh, grappling with this uh, instrument that is notoriously difficult to write for. The piece is written in reverse variation form, which means that the song on which the piece is based comes at, at the end, and you begin with uh, a theme that is uh, almost um, enigmatic. Um, and so what the artist must do, the interpreter must link each variation to the theme uh, and make it seem uh, coherent, even though if the audience are listening to this and don't know the song, uh, they, they, they won't quite understand where these ideas are coming from. So what we begin with is... Phrases which seem almost uh, questioning, um, and the, the answers are to come. Uh, but in the theme at the end, uh, the the, the the John Dowland's melody is displayed, and uh, that's what we have to uh, come back to every time we work with a, a small cell within the piece. So, what this strange I idea represents is actually. So I think there you can see the, the linear similarity, even though, of, of course, he's not using the same notes. But of course, there are also references that are a little more clear. So um, there's this marvelously surprising moment in the, in the theme, which is the uh, use of the G-sharp major. Um, so uh, to the words, come and possess my tired, thought-worn soul, he places. the opening of those words. And the way that Britain responds in the first variation is with uh, so it's a slightly twisted, more um, almost cynical moment uh, there that Britain develops. Britain's nocturnal is the uh, work that has the deepest depths to fathom. Um, he delves so deeply into what the guitar can, can uh, conjure in the sort of arcane way that I feel it has to be used. Um, he forces us to use color in the most imaginative um, ways. And for me, when the guitar has these deficits of uh, projection and sustain and volume, uh, the way that we have to make up for them um, is by using color to in, imply uh, imply the existence of those qualities that, that we don't have. Um, and so for a composer to, to force you into that place where you have to do that, uh, I think belies a, a deep uh, philosophical understanding of what the instrument um, has uh, at its core. Mm -hmm. 